Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da. Habba tafillah continue on in our series of discussions about the sifat or characteristics of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah. We must talk about one of the important traits of Ahlul Sunnah is that they practice the completeness of Islam and why? Who are they? Who is Ahl Sunnah? Who are who is who are those who adhere to the Madhab of the Salaf, the methodology of the Salaf? Why do we take see that as an honorable title and something of uh, of of importance and esteem distinguishing from other sects and groups? Why? Why is that? And that goes back to the last sitting when we talked about the hadith of iftarak and we talked about the hadith where the Prophet ﷺ said, kathira, that you'll see many differences, uh, you know, for those who live after me. Letting us know the ummah would break into many groups and sects. And in the hadith of iftarak, the Prophet ﷺ let us know who are those going to be saved from that torment, from, from split, breaking and splitting, and the punishment of being from amongst those people because the Prophet ﷺ said and my ummah would break into 73 sects all of them in the fire that's the punishment all of them in the fire illa wahida except one and they said who are they Ya Rasulullah he said those who are upon what I'm upon and what my companions are upon so then it goes it begs the question who are they who is this this who are those who adhere to the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam? Wa ahaqa nas bi ism firqat al-najiyah Whom ahla hadith? The people most deserving of being referred to as the firqat al-najiyah, the saved sect. Saved sect. Firqa, firqat al-najiyah. The saved sect. What are they saved from? They're saved from the fire. Bi idnillah. That doesn't mean every ifrad, every person who adheres uh, to the madhab of Ahl Sunnah is safe from the fire. No, that's not what it implies. And that's why it's important to understand how did the ulama of the past, how do they understand this? How do the, 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 the Salafi ulama of today, how do they understand these texts? They understand it as Ahl Hadith articulated and how they understood it. And that is that every ifrad, it, that doesn't refer to every ifrad. You can't say, oh, I'm Salafi and I'm saved. La. But Salafiyya, and saying that you're from Ahl Sunnah just means that you adhere to a particular way of understanding Islam. That you adhere to the Bi'idnillah Ta'ala, to the Book of Allah and the Sunnah, the Message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in the Madhab, how the Salaf Asari, how they understood these issues, how their fiqh was, how their, their aqeed, what their aqidah was, what their methodology of da'wah, that's what you are adhering to. And all of us have shortcomings, all of us have sins and fall short of that. And so that's why as individuals, we say, you know, we make sins. All the children of Adam, they commit sins. And the best of those sinners are those who repent. So we all sin and we all make mistakes. We all have shortcomings. But the path, the minhaj is perfect because it's the suratullah. It is the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the people most deserving of this title of the firqa to najiyah, the saved sect, is ahla hadith. This is why we want to be from ahla hadith, those people who make ta'zim of hadith. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, those people who study and teach hadith. And may Allah bless us to be from amongst them. Ameen. لِإِجْتِمَاعِهِمْ عَلَى الْحَقَّ الَّذِي كَانَ عَلَيْهِ النَّبِي صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمُ وَأَصْحَابِهِ وَلِأَنَّهُمْ أَعْلَمَ النَّاسِ بِأَقْوَالِ النَّبِيِّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمُ وَأَحْوَالِهِ وَأَعْظَمُهُمْ طَرِيكَ لِذِّبْ وَأَعْظَمُهُ تَمَيْزٍ بَيْنَ صَحِيحَهَا وَسَقِيمَهَا وَأَعْرَفُهُمْ بِمَعَنِيهَا مَعَنِيهَا وَأَعْظَمُهُمْ إِتِّبَاعٍ لَهَا so that Ahl Sunnah, Ahl Hadith, and the reason they are uh, referred to as this, it's because that they get together. They come together. And in the first lesson, we talked about the ayah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَاَعْتَسِمُوا بَحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا Hold on, all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah. So Ahl Sunnah, the trait of Ahl Hadith is that they actually come together. 
ijtima'ihim al al haq they come together on the haq they don't come together with what akhwana muslimin says and you know it's a political we're on the same political platform or a political umbrella we're going to get together because we're all uh, of a sufi tariqa we're going to get together because we're all takfiris and we make takfir in government we're going to get together because we're all uh you know we're all from the same jama'at jama'at tabliq and we're going to make khuruj together that's not what they why they get together they get together because they get together on the haq they get together in the completeness of islam they get together in the book of allah and the sunnah the message of allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam and the madhab of the salaf and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be from amongst them and and, and forgive us of our many sins and shortcomings ameen ya rabbil alameen that's what they, they get together on that and what the Prophet ﷺ was upon and his companions and that is because they are the A'lam al-Nas bi aqwal al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi They're the most knowledgeable about the statements of the Prophet ﷺ and his condition because they study hadith. And they are the greatest in knowledge in distinguishing between those hadith which are sound and those t hadith which are weak. And they are the most knowledgeable about its meanings. This is Ahl Hadith. This is what Ahl Sunnah, this is the path they traverse. We need to be upon that path. May Allah bless us to be upon it. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. This is very important for us. And they are the most adherent to it. Meaning they, they, they follow the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah the most. That's Ahlul Hadith. This is why the firqa, the the the, the firaq, the uh, uh, the groups from before the early sects, they used to make fun of Ahlul Hadith and speak bad about them. And even up until this time, people come up with names. Look at what they call. Look at the Sufis now and other extremists who claim Sheikh Al Islam Ibn Taymiyyah is mujassima that he that he uh, refers to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala as having a body like creation. All these kind of slanders against Ahl Sunnah la yadurhum because the Prophet sallallahu said that left. He said this exact statement in a hadith, calling Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and in fact, uh, uh, the the hadith the hadith is the Prophet sallallahu said la tazal taifatum min ummati zahirin ala haq. The Prophet said in Hadith in Bukhari and Muslim, There won't cease to be a group from my nation on the truth. No one will harm them who differs with them. Or that deceives them or, or differs with them. Until the hour is established. So this shows that Ahl Sunnah, yes, Ahl Sunnah will be persecuted. Yes, they'll go through struggles and trials and tribulations. But La Yadurahum, even though the people slander them, they call them, they say this, they say their da'wah is this, their da'wah is harsh, their da'wah is, you know, why are they talking about other Muslims? Why are they refuting innovators? Why? La Yadurahum. It doesn't harm them. Because they will still continue. La tazal ta'ifatum min ummati dharayna haq. There won't cease to be a group from my nation that continues to be on the truth. This is what the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Uh, and Imam Ahmed said in, regarding, in regards to this hadith, and uh, many other, uh, and the Shaykh of Imam Bukhari, as well commented about this hadith, Imam Ahmed said, In lam yukunu ahla hadith la adri manhum. If it is not a haladith, I don't know who it is. <laughs> Meaning, that's how they, they knew and understood. Our Salaf Asali knew that ahla hadith, ahla hadith is ahla sunnah. That's our Salaf Asali. They made ihtimam bi hadith in Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because where else are you going to get the deen from? You're going to get it from the book of Allah and the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Where else? Have a dalil. The dalil. Qal Allah, qal Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's where we understand Islam. We that that's our foundation. It's not from our opinions. If it was our opinions, this think how many different versions of Islam we would have. And unfortunately, many of the groups and sects. That's why why people think there are many versions of Islam because this one says such and such is okay. This one says such and such is okay. This one says it's okay uh, to to make takfir of everyone and, and uh, you know for the major sins. This one says and it's okay. Imam Ali ibn Medini. Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he said, Whom ashab al-hadith? 
Whom? Ashab hadith They are the people of hadith. And Imam Bukhari mentioned about this hadith. He said, Whom? Ahl al-ilm. They are the people of knowledge. So now we understand, we see that. You see the relationship, Ahl al-ilm, Ahl al-hadith, Ahl al-sunnah, that they're all the same. And the importance of knowledge. The Islam puts a great importance on seeking of doing Talib al-ilm and Talib al-hadith. Imam Qadi Iyad, he said, uh, and Imam Bukhari also, he said, Whom Ahl al-hadith, ay? Uh, whom Ahl al-ilm, ay? Ahl al-hadith. He said, they are, mean, meaning this taifa, the safe sect, the safe group, he said, they are the people of knowledge. And then he said, meaning Ahl al-hadith. Qadi Iyad, he said, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he said, إِنَّمَا أَرَادَ أَحْمِدْ أَهْلَ السُنَّةِ وَالْجَمَعَةِ وَمَنْ يَعْتَقِدْ مَذْهَبْ أَهْلَ حديث. Qadi Iyad, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he said, Imam Ahlid meant here that this is Ahl al-Sunnati wal-Jama'ah. And whoever believes, you know, believes, يَعْتَقِدْ uh, madhab ahl hadith the minhaj the methodology the way of ahl hadith subhanallah this is a very powerful witnessing from the ulama of the salaf with regards to the safe sect and that it being uh, ahl hadith and that ahl hadith is the path of ahl sunnah that's the path that we have to traverse Sheikh Lasnab ibn Taymiyyah said, لا نعني بأهل حديث مقتصرين على سماعه أو كتابته أو رواياته بل نعني بهم كل من كان أحق بحفظه ومعرفته ومعرفته وفهمه ظاهر وباطن واتباعه Batanin wa zahirin. He said, Ahla, Ahla, uh, uh, Ahla Hadith, they didn't concern themselves with just uh, listening to Hadith and writing Hadith, you know, recording Hadith and, the, and narrating the Hadith and looking at the, 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 the narrators. He said, rather they concern themselves with every, with, with everything from memorizing it to knowing it to understanding it internally and outwardly, meaning uh, practicing it and following it openly and 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 uh, and internally, and so that is. The that's who the firqa tanajia is, and who we want to be from, and the path we want to traverse. That is the madhab of the salaf. That is what we mean in contemporary times when we refer to ourselves as salafiyun. Is that we are striving to adhere to the book of Allah and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam with the interpretations, with the understandings of ahl hadith with the understandings of Ahl al-Sunnati wal-Jama'ah, with the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah, the Salaf al-Saleh, beginning, beginning first and foremost with the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, radiyallahu ta'l'anu majma'een. We ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.